five eyeshadow mistakes that you're making if you're doing a smoky eyeshadow and you're not using a cream colored base that's where you're going wrong using a cream colored eyeshadow first before you apply any eyeshadow is going to make everything so much more intense using the wrong kind of brush is going to make blending eyeshadow so much harder for anything that is cream or liquid i always use a synthetic brush because it blends things out so much better without absorbing the product and then for any eyeshadow products i prefer to use natural bristle brushes because this just gives a more effortless blend that rule also goes for any cream or liquid products that you use on your face you normally go in with a synthetic brush and then for any powders you go in a more fluffy natural head brush it's the same concept for your eyes don't be afraid to use black eyeshadow a lot of people are so scared to use black eyeshadow but it's actually amazing to deepen up the crease whenever i want to build depth in my crease i go in with my normal eyeshadow and then a dab of black and just by adding that depth it's just going to give it so much more dimension to the eyes you can literally see instantly that black eyeshadow just takes a look from daytime to nighttime. Remember, when you're blending eyeshadow, you need multiple brushes. One fluffy brush for your mid-tone colour, another brush for your deeper crease colour, and then if you're using any shimmers, it should be on a separate brush. If you're just using one brush all over for everything, that's where your eyeshadow is going to get so muddy. Don't forget to take the eyeshadow down to your bottom lash line. It just pulls the look all together, you know? If you're finding that your eyeshadow is patchy, no matter how hard you blend, go in with a foundation powder on a clean fluffy brush and then just buff out the edges. It's kind of like erasing the eyeshadow from the outside in. Okay, last tip, I love going in with a powder puff and I just clean up the edge and that just makes the eyes look super lifted. And here is the finished look. I know so many people struggle with blending out eyeshadow, so follow these tips. I still have so many more, so let me know if you want me to film a part two.